Sons of the American Revolution is the leading male lineage society that perpetuates the ideals of the War for Independence. As a historical, educational, and patriotic nonprofit organization, they seek to maintain and expand the meaning of our nation's founding, respect for our national symbols, the value of American citizenship, and the unifying force of E Pluribus Unum. As part of the SAR's educational outreach, an annual elementary school poster contest is held for students in the 4th and 5th grades. By corresponding with current American Revolutionary War curriculum, the SAR poster contest stimulates an interest in our nation's history and strengthens the students' understanding of the fight for independence from tyranny. The poster contest is conducted nationwide, with representatives from the local SAR chapter presenting to the 4th and 5th grade classes in their area. We're here today to talk to you about a couple things. One is a very important battle that happened in the American Revolution. And the other is a poster contest that your school has been participating in for five or six years now, I think. And um, it's going on all over the country for fifth graders right now. The poster contest is about the Battle of Calpins, which we're going to tell you about today. And uh, there's some really good prizes. In fact, the national winner for this poster contest came from a Placer County school last year, and the state winner for all of California came from your school a few years ago. Here in Placer County, members of the Gold Country chapter of the Sons of the American Revolution, dressed in period costumes from the American Revolution, present to the class information about the poster contest topic and about the rules of the competition. Each class that participates in the poster contest will have first through third place winners. The overall winner from the school will move on to the chapter level. The first place chapter winner moves on to state where, if selected, will represent the state society at the national level. The poster that wins first at the national level will win additional prizes and have their poster displayed at the national headquarters for the Sons of the American Revolution. Last year, the national winner was from the Placer County area. The posters are judged on various criteria, but mainly upon their expression of the annual theme, their knowledge of the topic, accuracy, originality, and artistic merit and creativity. Okay, what, what we look for is the, the originality, the uh, sharing of the data accurately, um, and creativity. Like this poster, for example, everything is, is very clear, defined. After judging is completed, local SAR members return to the classrooms wearing their period costumes and bringing Revolutionary War flags and muskets to show the students. There they teach the class about the various flags and present the class winners with ribbons. The SAR poster program is a great example of living history and a great way to engage students and spark interest in our nation's beginnings.